would say, oh, don't worry about it. They don't experience pain the same. Mm. And of course, that was. He said that, that it was racist. He told them. Yeah, he well, said it was I mean, racist. It's, it's just a justification. They were right. saying, oh, well, their, their brains are smaller, right. you know, so they don't experience this, that, and the other. But it's just a justification to make money. I mean, That's all she it doesn't is. mention Fame it and as fortune. much in the book. But a lot of it is just about making money. Just well, it's 100%. not just about making money. It's about these doctors also getting all this notoriety. Fame and fortune. Because right. all this information was placed in journals. They didn't necessarily pin them as being black people. They would say they did these type of experiments, this type of experiment, and this is what I came up with. They won't mention who they did it on, but it just That's right. That's it, right. It a lot came of times up they as truth. And, right. and then black people weren't able to access these journals. Right. You know, only white doctors could, could read into this, and right. I don't even know if it's the same now and what happened to all these journals. That's what I would love right. to know. Now, she says she found a lot of information. When she first, when she was doing her research for the book, she ended up coming across a lot of these journals and documents that she sort of stumbled onto mm -hmm. um, throughout her research. And, and you're right, they didn't say who they were doing the research on, even though they were doing the research on blacks right. to create right. instruments. It was irrelevant for them. We was, we, was, we, was not, we was nobody to them. We were subhuman. Like they said, uh, we was known, to, we were supposed to have had holes in our knees to permit us to bend. We supposed to be subservient to them. We supposed to bow to them. And uh, what about the incident about the young boy that fell out of the tree? He injured himself and all he needed was a few stitches. But this doctor, searching for fame and fortune, what he did was he took the boy, he put him under anesthesia because that was new at the time. He put him under anesthesia and he cut off his testicles. And then he wrote a paper on uh, how you do an operation under, with someone under anesthesia. But he was still and, trying to figure out the anesthesia with Yeah, that. he was that's trying to use, right. He was yeah. I think they were using but, ether or something at that time, right? Right, right. Yeah. but yeah, there was yeah, no was reason either, to take off the boy's testicles. Right, there was but no reason was, to do that There was no whatsoever. reason whatsoever right. or, to do that. Or the doctor who was trying to come up with a, a cure for heat stroke, you know, essentially puts a guy in a, in a pit of, right. of hot coals covering right. him until he faints. He finds out that, you know, some cayenne pepper mixture helps, but anybody can get that, so he sells fake flower pills Right. Put these pills in a cayenne pepper mixture and drink, and he made a ton of money. Yeah, you yeah. know, but he experimented on someone. So that's why I'm saying the underlying thing from then to pharmaceutical companies today, today, is exactly. money. And how can we get around regulations to do these experiments so we can sell these products and procedures? And the way they target our communities, our poor communities, our schools, our clinics, our, 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 our jail systems the way they exploit well, these systems. Well, not just that, it's employers as well. Uh, there was a couple of incidences where she mentioned that employers, while they're doing your background check and your drug, the drug check, they're also checking to see if you have certain diseases. Mm. So then right. they can deny you employment well, based well, yeah, on these Well, yeah, and there was things. a chapter that she, where she actually talked about DNA. And that's what she said in, in that chapter is that now that they've discovered DNA and they can use it for, for identification purposes, which they do, they also can use it for medical purposes to determine what diseases you m may have had, what diseases your ancestors may have had, what diseases you may be prone to having in the future. Right. And they and they use this in some way. And then, in fact, she said they create databases that contain this, which there's no logical reason why they should be doing that other than if for medical reasons, I, I suppose. Yeah, I forget which company she mentioned, but I think 172 people ended up suing the company mm -hmm. for these illegal, this illegal testing. Only one of these people was white, and that was mm -hmm. because they were married to a black woman. Mm -hmm. So right. they're checking them for all right. these diseases. Do, do you believe that the reason why blacks are suspect of the medical profession is because of this uh, the, the experimentation and the things that were done to blacks in the past? I believe so. And we've, a lot of us have lived to see it. So you know that one of your family members went to the doctor or they went to the hospital and they didn't come out. And you don't know why, because it was just a little this. So why but, did all that happen? And how did they pass away from that? So we're always left with questions. And I believe uh, even and, today and, it's mentioned that there, there are all types of experiments done where we get artif artificial blood. We don't necessarily get a, give approval for that. Mm -hmm. Your family or, member has to be a doctor holding your hand in order to make sure that you're going to be treated correctly. I remember this was maybe, you know, 15 years ago. They were having, if you had, you know, keloid problem with your skin, you can right. go and get free treatment at Cook County Hospital. And I remember people saying, I'm, you know, free treatment at Cook County. I don't think so. You know, that, that just doesn't Suspect. sound right. But it's... You know, it's because of that Tuskegee experiment, you know, and, type thing that we right. think and of. And where that's one. That's one of the uh, the 
ploys, I suppose, or the tricks that they use was that you were going to get free treatment. Right, Everything right. was free. And that's how they got black people in. It's like, okay, you can't afford this medicine or whatever it is, or you can't afford this particular um, medical attention. So come on in. We're going to give it to you for free. Right. And well, they started they, that. They, they started that in antebellum days because they set up houses where, okay, where they was, they, they was called charity hospitals or they had another technical name for it I can't think of right now, but they Home would have, houses? yeah, right, exactly. They had those set up, and what they was doing with those, they was experimenting on people saying, okay, you can't pay, so what you do is you uh, submit yourself to certain experiments, and, and, and we'll do it. But they sit back and they waiting for you to die because what they want to do is, back then, to get a doctor's degree, a uh, young white physician only had to go to school for two, three years. So, but they needed bodies. They needed people to experiment on. And they got those people from those hospitals. Right, that's right. And, and, and there, there's one story that she told about this guy who had stole the black baby. And he, he took the black baby and he put the baby under his coat and he was coming out really fast out of the, wherever he got the baby from. Yeah. And he bumped into a woman and he fell. This and, was a dead baby, baby, right? Dead baby. Yeah, and the yeah. baby, it was a body, right? Body. And the baby falls to the ground. You know, he's all embarrassed because he's got right. this black baby that he's carrying. But the point is he was stealing the, the baby's body. And what she said is that they that's how they got their patients. They did get them from these almost houses, as you mentioned. But a lot of times they, they had these people, what did they call them? Um, the, the people who went around Cadivers and stole. Or no, no, the, the, they, these uh, people who went and stole. Like they're all. Resurrection Man. Yes. Oh. yes the yes, Resurrection yes. Man. And the yeah. Resurrection Man is a person who actually w was basically a grave robber. And he'd go and yeah. steal these bodies. And, and as a matter of fact, I remember one story that she mentioned where um, this. It, remember the incident back in the 60s where the four little girls, the bombing in Birmingham, Alabama mm -hmm. at the church, the four little girls who got killed. Years later, one of the little girls, I forget right. the little girl's name, but her, her Sister. sisters had went to the grave because the, 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 there was problems with the cemetery. And they said, you know what, there's problems with the cemetery, much like what we've yeah. right. seen yeah. right. recently. Mm -hmm. right. There's problems with the cemetery. We want to get her body out of here and put it somewhere that we feel good and feel comfortable with. They went to, f to get the body, to exhume the body, and there was nothing there. Mm -hmm. And this was a, uh, exactly what she's talking about is the resurrection man and these grave robbers, they go and steal these bodies. So you really don't know whether your people are there or not. And what they do with the bodies is they deliver them for research. Right. And I think that well, that was so disturbing because these were our own people doing, doing this. Doing that, they, right, they, right. But they were getting paid to do it. Right. I, I forgot how much they would get per body. It was a, it was a decent living back then. Yeah, and and so they I were, mean, look at, look at one of the apologists for the Dr. Sims was a black doctor, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, Daniel Hale was, you know, criticizing him, the guy who, uh, who did the first uh, open heart surgery. But there was another black doctor right. saying, oh, this is advancing medicine. So right. there were a few instances in here where you see, you know, a our black own guy. people yeah. are, are yeah. part of the conspiracy. But what I did like and appreciate it, it gave me an education as to you had some black physicians back then, oh, yeah. but they was using herbal medicines and they was curing people mm -hmm. with those with those medicines. And as, as a matter of fact, I can't recall, it was so many stories in the book. Right. But I think one particular uh, medicine, they, they got stole from him and, 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 and used it and it was effective, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like to touch on what you said about this, this guy that stole the baby. That was terrible, but was more terrible to me was the sadistic feeling that he had when he was in the room with the baby. He was like, oh, he just wanted to take that baby and then take it up to his room so when he, in between his meals he could teeter with it. You know what I mean? And it how, was, how these uh, medical students were posed, posed with, with the dead, dead bodies. bodies. That was like a rites of passage once they graduated. And how they were they whole bodies in the basement of these hospitals or whatever you want to call it. I remember the, in, in one incident where this woman said, walked past and shivered walking past and said, I hope I die thinking. In a, in a winter month. In the, right, oh, so yeah, that yeah. she'll be preserved because yeah. she, she, her soul isn't resting now. Yeah, and that's and it's because gonna rest um, during the certain, they, they actually had what they called the dissection season right or right. something along those that lines. was during the fall he wanted to die i believe in the winter or something where they wouldn't have get his body because they right. were supplying well, I think all it was of these the opposite. i think he okay. wanted to die in the, the summer. summer right okay so i think the body wouldn't be held so long exactly. i think they oh, hold the, the, the body so the long body stayed long. But oh okay. that's the thing about the book i mean when i when i saw the cover you know, I was thinking, okay, Tuske Tuskegee experiment. So it's going to be, more. but that was like a drop in the bucket yeah, that compared was to so many things leading up to that and so many things after that. I mean, and, I just have to keep point. putting now, the book down because it's just so sad. 
Yeah, well, yeah, it was. But let's talk about the 